3 a.m. and nowhere to be found. Don't know where my boyfriend is. Let's try to find him. I have an idea where he is. He's probably on the couch where he's been for the past couple months doing nothing but playing his fucking video games. I go to fucking school and pay the fucking bills. Babe, do you have any idea what time it is? Mm -mm. Nah, why? What's up? Give me something to drink, eh? Yo, 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 What are they doing, yo? What are you doing? Stop! Stop! Yo! The fuck is your problem? There's your fucking PlayStation! Why don't you get a fucking job and get paid for fucking goddamn bill? Wow. Yo. All I can say is, damn and wow. What you just saw here is a video I saw on YouTube while just randomly browsing a bunch of random stupid funny or whatever random video you can find on YouTube and I found this video in particular of some crazy woman or crazy Asian bitch I like to call it complaining about her boyfriend her freeloader boyfriend who's with all the swag and all that shit he, or she was basically complaining about her freeloader boyfriend living at home, always staying up all night playing video games. Doesn't give her woman a good head or good boning in the ass or or giving that good old sweet sweet loving and all that kind of stuff. You know all that little snazzy stuff that couples normally do if they live together. Basically, that that crazy Asian bitch was complaining about her boyfriend on that part in that random video I saw of her. Bo Basically, her boyfriend keeps playing these video games, and doesn't. And he apparently, based on what I looked on, looked up on this video in particular, when I was looking at it, the boyfriend doesn't have a job. He doesn't go to school. He's living that swag mentality or that swag lifestyle that most teenagers up from ages 15 to 19 would normally do. Basically. Like, like, basically, he just doesn't have a, he's just like a, a, like a loser, basically. He's just a loser. He doesn't have a job, doesn't go to school, lives on that swag mentality, and doesn't, and doesn't, and just sits on his ass three in the morning while his girlfriend's trying to make, wait for him to bone her in the ass with her, with this big old cock. And he just sits at on his couch all day playing his PlayStation 3, playing his so-called video games, and doesn't want to do anything with his life. He's just sitting there playing his video games and doesn't want to do anything with his life. Based on what I'm looking at. And basically when his girlfriend went out the living room to call it, call him out on that situation. What happened here was. I remember the, 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 guy, the, the little thuggish swag guy was like saying. Yo, 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 give me a drink. Um, and, like, she was, and he was kind of asking what time it is. Without paying for any attention to what's going on. Because he was too busy playing his video games. So what happened here was, the lady, the, the, the woman, or the Asian woman, or Asian bitch like I like to call it, grabbed a hammer from the, from the little kitchen, kitchen drawer and just basically went up to the TV, near the TV, the HD TV set, or the smart TV, on the, on the little wall. She grabs the little PlayStation 3, or PS3, if you want to abbreviate it in short term words, or an easier way of explaining it. She grabbed the PS3, slammed it on the ground, and started using that hammer and smashing it open. And the boyfriend was like, "Yo, yo, 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 yo." I, I think he's part of the Dortanios or something. But I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, guys. But the, the 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 guy was basically telling her to stop doing that. Basically, the guy went up went up to the, to his girlfriend, tried to push her away from doing as much damage to his property or his PS3 and just trying to restrain her from doing more damage to the to what's going on she goes back and I mean yells at him saying get get a fucking life and all you do is play video games all day get a fucking job and the video ends from there and just fades to black my personal thoughts on this video was wow but here I but here but when I'm looking further into this video looking at these two different situations right here I personally don't want to take one side over the other. I think, to be honest, I'm going to be blunt about this and hear me out on this, people. I'm going to be very fucking blunt on this on this topic, on this video I just saw right here. Both of those people, 
the Asian bitch and the swaggy swaggy Mexican boyfriend both fucked up in in their own way basically they both fucked up because for one the boyfriend just sits at home all day no education he slacks off he doesn't want to get a job doesn't want to go to school he just sits at home playing video games all day I mean playing video games in moderation is a is okay actually Video games can be a very good thing if you if you're into them and stuff like that, but only in moderation. Cause what if you have a girlfriend, family, and friends? Would you actually let that new Call of Duty Black Ops or Carlos Winslow on the cover or whatever you want to call it take up all your time away from your friends, your family? Is that all? Is that all there's to life? Is just playing video games? Because truthfully. If, if, you're, if you're gonna let video games distract your, your your social life or your social activities with your girlfriend or your friends or your family it's it, it is a problem honestly because especially if you have a girlfriend because you got to get laid basically you got to get laid if you have a girlfriend if you're just gonna sit your ass on your couch playing fucking call of duty on your fucking 360 or Xbox or ps3 you're basically a loser man I mean for crying out loud and and if you don't want to get a job or don't want to pay the bills and don't want to go to school, what are you going to do with all your life? Live on welfare? Be, or fucking basically live off your girlfriend and just mooch off of her and, and, not, and not even pay anything? From the looks of this guy on this video, he basically looked like the type of guy that, that lives that swag mentality, that swag persona. He doesn't want... He basically is a... He basically has hasn't obviously grown up and doesn't take responsibility for his own actions. And based on when I looked at it in this video, the, the the couple looked like they were in their twenties at least. Give it about early to mid twenties at least. I would say by that age, people should be men in particular should be have a life ahead of them. I know the economy is really really hard. It's really hard to get a job, but you gotta keep on trying. I mean, maybe a little bit of unemployment benefits and a little bit general assistance wouldn't hurt that much as long as you can pay the bills but if you're gonna sit at home uh, uh, playing your video games all day while you're living with your girlfriend you're not gonna fuck her you're not gonna like take her out to a movie take her out to a bar take her out on a date what is what the fuck is wrong with you man I mean dude if you, you're if, if, if hell if, if that's if that's unbelievable and really stupid enough then what if I mean it's just it's just it's just ah oh god that's so why would you just sit at home if you live with your girlfriend why won't you just do something productive like take her to the beach or take her to the movie or just basically spend time with her get to get to and have meaningful conversations and and go have sex or something I don't know but that is really bad on his part right there I really peg him down for it like I said I'm I don't think. I'm not taking one side over the other. I think personally both fucked up in in their own way in this video and I'm going to give you some reasons why. So I already explained the guy in the in this video why he fucked up. Now, I'm going to explain why the girl fucked up in this situation. The Asian bitch fucked up because she could, she was basically going nuts over the situation. She could have kept a calm attitude about it. Could have hell, if someone gave me tough love and t and called me out for what I was doing. Yeah, it'll hurt the, the, the truth will hurt and stuff like that. And it's not if it's not sure code, it'll hurt me a little bit. But it will be a it would be a motivation to get my life back in order because in this world you have to like you know basically have have thick skin basically. Whenever someone tells you something you don't want to hear. But the reason why I'm putting out the girl fucked up in this situation is because she couldn't control her temper. The way she pulled herself out in this whole video made her look like a fucking psychopath. You know those, you know, like you know, like in those Lifetime movies, where, those, where where the man marries this woman, and the woman turns out to be a, a fucking very, very extremely possessive and very emotional, clingy, fucking jealous type of person, and and you know, fucking nut jobs, and because. Because the way she acted up, acted out when calling her boyfriend out on the situation, she basically could have, she could have used her temper, controlled her temper a little bit, kept a calm, kept a calm way of expressing her anger towards the situation. But no, she destroys someone else's fucking property right here. That's bad because, well, I mean, if if if, if she could have told her boyfriend in a, in a more, without sugarcoating, but not 
pulling any very physical, not not getting even getting physical with anything involved, it would have been a little bit better. I mean, hell, if she if she if he didn't want to change himself for the better, she could have just dumped him. But no, basically, she had to like prove a point by destroying someone else's property, the PS3. The reason why I think that's as bad is. You, I understand you're angry and you're hurt, but the way you, but the, the way that Asian bitch acted out in that video made her look like a psycho, and she had mental issues. She could have went to a therapist to talk out her problems with her boyfriend. She could have found her used 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 her own her her own. She could have basically thought through herself and figured out a way to like make her basically handle the situation in a more constructive, civil manner. But she destroys someone else's property, and hell, if it were me, and am I, am I, if someone I knew destroyed my fucking TV because I watched TV too much, or destroyed my PS3 or Xbox 360, I would be fucking pissed too, basically. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna, hear me out on this, I don't bullshit when I talk about stuff like this. When, when I, when, I watch a lot of TV, yes, I, but I don't play a lot of video games either, although I have an Xbox 360, a PS3, PS2 Dreamcast. I have them, but I don't play them that much. I'm mostly on the TV most of the time, but at least I have a life. I have a family to take care of. I have a girlfriend. Hell, I even have a job right now, and I'm paying the bills. I'm handling my own finances. I'm shopping for groceries, taking care of things in the house. Basically, I'm doing all that, but 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 the th but the thing about her is she's not fucking. She just fucking destroyed this fucking PS3, basically. If I mean. If, it, if, 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 if if I were him, I would ask her to pay for it, basically. Hell, I don't the person the person himself doesn't even have to pay for it, damaged property because because he didn't he didn't he didn't do anything wrong with it, basically. It's just the whole law of property damage is when someone destroys someone else's property, the person who the, the, the suspect or the person who does those kind of things are are held liable for it, and they have to pay off the, the damage themselves and. She could have had a better way of ex explaining herself and con and handling her temper, but no, she was being a fucked up mental ass bitch like she actually was, and th and that's just fucked up, man. She could have found other ways to make the situation better, like leave her boyfriend or talk to her counselor about it, or or even give him that, or just not sugarcoat with him and just tell him t tell him how it is basically without damaging anything, and acting all violent and physical. So basically, I feel that both sides fucked up right here, and I think it's just, and I just think, in this, in this crazy, crazy ass world we live in, you just, you got, you got, basically, from what I've learned in this video, got, you better, ha, if you're, in, if you're at a certain age, you, and I know it's hard to get a job, it's hard to get, or to find employment, and the economy's really bad, but at least try harder to get a job, and don't give up, but, you got you gotta do you gotta have if you're an adult like that you shouldn't be and yeah especially if you have kids or a girlfriend or friends try your best not to like be like this loser and play video games all fucking day and just handle your responsibility as an adult hell go for a walk in the park uh go to a, go go see a movie at, at the theater or just do something outside the house rather with your, with your loved ones rather than just play these damn video games 24/7. Just do something with your life. If you can't get a job, then if you get a job, then keep that job, and pay the bills. I mean, the, the way this guy was like in this fucking motherfucking video, this nigga was like, this nigga was basically a freeloader, and he was a fucking loser. Basically, he was a fucking loser. And and if you and I also learned that if, if you're a woman in this relationship, or or, or a man, whatever you want to call it, if, whether it's a man or a woman, you just better. Keep yourself in check when you do when you confront your 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 partner about these situations. Don't go all fucking ape shit and just fucking a bomb and just destroy property right there, cause that's just gonna that's just fucking that just that just gives you that red flag that you're a fucking psychopath. I'm sorry, but I'm being honest about that shit, man, my nigga. For real, my sh for real, dog. I mean, that shit's just that shit's just. Get, Paints a wrong first impression of you, especially if you, if you put a video like that on YouTube. You're you're about to get like a bunch of responses that, that are gonna, that are gonna be like, are gonna be noticeable from the people who are commenting on that video or something. It's just like that, you know. It's a crazy world we live in. I thought I just think that video was just wow. 
I've seen a lot of fucking random videos in my day on YouTube, but that one would just give me a food for thought in my head. How couples should work, how people should handle their everyday responsibilities and as adults, or basically your relationship, what you should do and what you should should not do and all that kind of stuff. It's just really hard to explain, but it, it, it just tells you how to live life in a way, the way you watch these videos and give your own interpretation of what, what you think about what you just saw. Well guys, I'm done ranting here for today. Be sure to check out my music in, on Facebook, Reverb Nation, SoundClick, SoundCloud. Just Google Heavy Sigma and Patrick or Patrick Blue Band. I'm making I'm in a one man band making music right now. I make rock and roll. I play guitar and and I write all the songs, play all the instruments, record everything at home, produce it all at home, upload it off the internet when I'm done with making the music. And check it out and support us, cause we, cause I, I fucking do kick ass, by the way. And I'm not bullshitting, nigga. You know what I mean? For, for real, my dog. And, and if you wanna, if you wanna check out my YouTube, subscribe to it. Show your support for Patrick Lou, this Taiwanese American rock musician from the Bay Area, and a comedian, video blogger. And stay at home. Don't do drugs. Don't fuck up. And. Party on, dude! <laughs> yep.